Worker Max Crosby doing the Lord's work over there on the edge. But, like, the Broncos made the most sense. Outside of the Chargers, yeah. who the injuries uh, being what they are, you're, like, uh, just penciling in the Chargers for the playoffs is a mistake. And penciling in just health and getting it together. It's just, I you can never get me to sign on for that. No one had it going this bad, though. Like, I thought, like, 6-11 and 11 was bad at year one. But it was so bad. And getting cooked by Baker Mayfield and the Rams the way they did Cam Akers – who we thought might just be not an NFL running back anymore. Three touchdowns and just absolutely obliterates the Broncos. It probably should have been it when you have the Denver home fans just like helping you along with the play clock where it's like it's counting down and they're treating it like he's Giannis Antetokounmpo out there. And you're like, this is probably a mistake. This is when we need to move on. Like this is unacceptable for an NFL franchise to have the fans chanting along because you cannot snap the ball in time. Um, real remedial stuff. And you're like, I don't know what the future holds for the Broncos. Like if you just put the Texans logo on these helmets, you're like, oh my God, the Broncos, this organization and everything, this looks like an absolute dumpster fire. Like, how do you get out of this? This is a really, really bad situation. Why would you want this job? Doug, should Sean Payton or a big name want this job? I don't, I don't think Sean Payton should. I, mm. I think that first of all, Sean Payton making his bones in New Orleans. Like I go back to small market, not a ton of pressure on him there. I feel like he's better off going to Arizona or another smaller market team than Denver. Mm. I think there's too much media pressure. And I just don't think that you want to deal with Russell Wilson. I think that mm. Russell Wilson is like one of the most difficult players to deal with in the NFL. And if you're Sean Payton and this is your comeback and this is probably your last job in the NFL, I don't think you want to tie yourself to Russell Wilson at this point because he also just showed so many limitations as a quarterback this season that were, you know, masked pretty well during his days with the Seahawks. And maybe the mobility fell off more this season. Maybe he just, you know, got uh, regressed a little bit more. But no, if I'm Sean Payton, I, I don't really want to deal with that. I think that I think that what Denver needs to do is if they can't get Sean Payton, which I don't think he should take the job. I think that they should go back to something that worked and hire Dan Quinn and then bring in Brian Schottenheimer as the offensive coordinator. Like, like I think that even though maybe Brian Schottenheimer, I don't know how much he'd really want to deal with Russell Wilson, but I feel like he can turn around Russell Wilson. He knows hmm. what works. Like, go back to what was proven with Seattle and and try to run that back as best as possible, even if it's... 85% of it, even if it's 80% of it, 90% of it, because like Russell Wilson was like a shell of himself this mm. season. He was one of the worst quarterbacks in the NFL, which I certainly didn't foresee happening. I didn't know if he was going to be an MVP candidate or anything like that, but like you, the number one priority, even more than your head coach needs to be to fix Russell Wilson because you can't get out of that deal. He's the way that that offense moves forward. The defense is still in good shape. The defense is going to be in good shape next year as well. You just need to fix Russell Wilson. So I don't know if I'm Sean Payton, like I said, I'm probably going somewhere else. I'm even considering going back to the saints, but to your point on the first year head coaches, like, yeah, I think Dennis Allen could be out. I could see a situation where Todd, like Todd Bowles, I don't think deserves to be head coach there in next year. And like, who knows even Lovey Smith, like what have the Texans done this season other than being like somewhat competitive against some good teams where like those, the teams that simply just promoted their defensive coordinator to head coach, I think that that does give them a pretty easy out to then eliminating that coach after one year. The Texans are out here running Driscoll Mills, two quarterback system. <laughs> like this is Chris Lee, Tim Tebow and for the it's Florida wild. Gators in 05. Like we just moved on from like, that's what they're running. Like that's happening. They're just running the two quarterback system of like the running quarterback and then the passing quarterback. Like that's a normal thing an NFL franchise should be doing right now. I, yeah. First off, Respect Jeff Driscoll, 49ers legend. Okay. Was he a uh, Niner? I feel like he's yeah, on a lot of rosters. Niner. Okay. He Jeez. was literally one of my favorite little well, of all the stupid like 49ers legend tweets I have, he was probably my favorite because he was like six round draft pick, like a backup of a backup in like 2011. We're like, hey, maybe he could like have a decent career. And then he immediately left that year and has just constantly been a backup. I mean, he's been around for a decade. Mm. God, God bless. I mean, he's going to be an offensive coordinator for like the Jets in seven yeah. years. Like oh, yeah. the man's going to be around forever. We're just going to be like Jeff Driscoll still cashing those checks. Shout out so, to him. The one thing I do want to say as much as 
Russell, I mean, no one loves to hate Russell Wilson more than I do. <laughs> I will never forgive uh, the Broncos for allowing the Seahawks to so efficiently reset after losing their Hall of Fame quarterback, as they have done, because now they have a top three pick, which I'm hoping to dear God they draft, uh, you know, like another Zach Wilson. No, um, it's going to be Jalen Carter and Will Anderson. Yeah, I, know, I, know, every I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But anyways, <laughs> the Broncos have... Jerry Judy and Cortland Sutton, two of the two best wide receivers in the NFL. They have Patrick Sertain, who's one of the best corners, maybe, what, probably top three, top two right now. He's just incredible. Um, you know, you think about Justin Simmons. They, like, they, Greg Dulcich, Dulcich is, like, a really exciting prospect to tie in whenever they figure out the quarterback situation, whether it's Russ not playing terrible or someone else. So I don't know... I think the stink of this year's Broncos is maybe clouding our judgment here. Like, why would Sean Payton not want to go to that type of talent with a quarterback who at least at one point was a Hall of Fame level quarterback? If you're Sean Payton, you're like, take me where the talent is. I'll clean the bullshit up and we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, he can bring in what Jameis Winston's probably going to be uh, a free agent, right, this year. Like, Tom Brady. Dude, can you imagine Russell Wilson getting cut after the first year? I mean, it's not absurd. Look at Matt Ryan. Look what they did with Matt Ryan in that cap hit. You think they wouldn't do that for Russell Wilson if they just wanted to get rid of him? I, it's, I don't know if they physically can. Like, I yeah. think they can, right? What's I, the think I think next year. I think they. What's weird with the Wilson cap hit is it's significantly more after next year, not this year. This year, it's a, it saves them money. It next year, it's like goes from like forty to sixty million cap hit. I think it's. Yeah. It's something bonkers where it's forty to sixty, I think, in succession. Over the cap, always absolutely a, like murder. A standard computer, release, uh, no, a standard <laughs> uh, release of Wilson would be practically impossible. It would be an result. eighty-five million dollar dead Loss. cap hit yeah. if they cut him after this season. Got, you might got to do it. I'm just saying. If you... And you don't have your pick, so it's only like you can really draft his replacement and like bring in real competition that way because you what can't if, use more resources there. You don't have a first-round pick. What if he brought in Tom Brady and Russell Wilson was the backup? Would that not be the most? In... So I don't want to get into Well, all I don't think any crazies. of those veterans, guys like that, are wanting to compete with Russ. Like, they're not walking in to go join well, that Well, I think circus. if Tom Brady came in there, he would not be competing with Russ. He would, you know. In that Russ would think it's a competition, and I don't think anybody would enjoy that. that I, you know, Russ, Russell Wilson talks to himself in the mirror when no one's looking, so I don't really care about Hold that Hold on. Part. We already have Brady getting ready to go to New York. Like, that's what we're waiting on. Brady is the Jets quarterback 2023. Mean, that's what the world needs. You, so, first off, that's what you want, but the likelihood of that compared to Jimmy Garoppolo is, like, non-existent. Jimmy mm. Garoppolo will be going to the Jets. I'll bet that over Tom Brady for anyone that wants to take that bet. Now, yeah, that said, Jimmy I did the Jets. Brady to the Raiders, maybe. Brady oh. to Brady's going to the Niners. Niners, maybe. Well, actually, yeah. now with Brock Purdy, no. I don't know, man. What about Trey Lance? Can you just pick a quarterback <laughs> no, no, in okay, San Francisco, before, Evan? Well, before Brock Purdy, it was the most logical thing, period. Because you bring mm. in Brady because you can't right. bet on Trey Lance at this point, whether you wanted to or not. Yeah. Uh, but now with Brock Purdy, who knows? Um, maybe you just flip Wilson and Lance. You just but, get Wilson uh, as your long-term backup in San Francisco. I I don't want to get into the hypotheticals because I don't mm. think it's necessary. But what I will say is this. I think the Broncos have a very uh, favorable team for anybody that wants to come in and take over. Um, yeah. The biggest question that I think everyone should be asking, and we should be doing it loudly so that maybe it does check his ego, is can Russell Wilson check his own ego? Can he look at this objectively and go, wow. I suck as a person <laughs> and as a player for once in my life and like learn and get better. Or is he incapable with that ego? And he's just going to go into next year Broncos country. Let's riding all the way into another four win season. I mean, he needs that. Like we'll know if he's changed. It's like Richard Sherman and him pop in and a pop. Yeah.